friends i am sindhu kavi i have cleared the all india civil services examination 2018-19 with rank 504 i come from kanchipuram district uh, from a place called pammal i did my btech information technology from college of engineering gindi anna university and i did my schooling in uh, wales vidyashram in wales high secondary school my father is a retired government servant from uh, tamil nadu and my mother works for uh, central warehousing corporation and i have a younger brother my aspiration to become a civil servant has always been there right from my childhood uh, inspired from a family friend of mine and ever since that after my graduation i started my preparation for civil services uh, my hobby is dancing and uh, my extracurricular activity includes oration i have had this interest in dancing right from my childhood from just dancing to cinema songs and then after taking it as a professional form and learning it after my graduation i'm a classical dancer and this hobby has not only helped me in uh, my leisure time but has also helped me cultivate certain activities it has helped me learn certain qualities like perseverance and focus and there were questions which uh, were asked from these areas of hobby in my interview as well for example uh, they asked me three qualities which i learned from my dancing and they also asked about a classical dance form which hails from tamil nadu which is bharatanatyam so apart from uh, being an activity which has helped me relieve my stress it has also helped me tackle certain questions in interview which i was in comfortable with and uh, coming to my extracurricular activity it is oration i've given uh, speeches when i was a child and also i've participated in a number of stage events this extracurricular activity helped me overcome my stage fear and also express my opinion in a very articulate manner and this helped me increase my confidence when i had to face a number of senior persons in the panel so this is how my hobbies and extracurricular activities added up to my interview preparation coming to the preliminary examination this is my fifth attempt and my first interview i couldn't clear my initial two attempts in prelims continuously i initially had a fear when i gave my third attempt but then i successfully cleared my third attempt and again when i gave my fourth attempt i couldn't clear prelims and again fifth attempt i clear prelims the thing is that we usually have a fear which develops in ourselves uh, when we tackle like mcq questions it is about mentally being prepared in order to face those questions at that point of time so i discovered that at some point of time that the fear was the main thing which which actually was a hurdle in clearing the preliminary examination the last attempt that is my fifth attempt i made a strategy strategy in terms of solving a number of question papers which helped me eliminate the wrong answers so i would say that it is the more focusing on eliminating the wrong options and uh, concluding the right answer which is required in terms of prelims so i think first of all we should overcome the fear which uh, stops us from targeting the prelims so solve a number of question papers and instead of reading a number of materials i think what is needed is to uh, take a single material and read it number of times get the concepts very clear get the basics very clear and that is what helped me target uh, the prelims this time coming to the preliminary examination uh, i attended a number of test batches right from my first attempt the mistake that i did was that i just attempted the test batches and i didn't go back and work out on it but uh, after my third attempt what i did was that once i took my preliminary tests i went back home and uh, i worked out on the uh, answers and i concentrated on the wrong options so that i'll be able to eliminate it correctly and uh, the discussions it's very helpful uh, in terms of the preliminary test batch merely attending the test batch is not uh, the only thing which is required we have to listen to the discussions we get a no number of inputs from the discussion so i would say that discussion along with reworking of the question paper is as a good thing to clear the preliminary examination the place where you prepare is also very important in that aspect i felt that a kind of a very atmosphere similar to home as prevailed in smart leaders where the faculties were very much approachable and they were constantly motivating me so i would like to thank uh, smart leaders the faculties shivraj vel sir and sadik sir for constantly motivating me and help me achieve my dream